Time to record. It's my favorite time of the week. So let's see. Uh, why the connections of today's fires are pretty clear. How, how would I do this intro? Uh, birds! Nope, that's... Mm. Okay, uh, that, that was really fucking stupid. How about fire? Nope, that's that's not even... That's not good. There's no good way to start this shit. Okay, you know what? We have two flaming bird-themed ladies with psychic-like powers. I'm, of course, talking about today's fighters. Lilith, the Firehawk and Siren of the Borderlands. And Jean Grey, the Dark Phoenix of the X-Men. Oh, God. It's been so long since I've talked about Phoenix on this show. I mean, last time she was on here, she completely eviscerated Tatsumaki. But, uh, let's go ahead and hop into Phoenix's powers and abilities instead of bringing up the upset that was the One Punch Man fan base in that comment section. So, Phoenix can use telepathy and telekinesis and even, uh, manipulate minds. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous, but it only gets worse from there. She can fly, create illusions, manipulate energy and absorb energy, and even create fucking force fields to block attack, because god she wasn't powerful enough. She can also manipulate fire, obviously being the phoenix, and she can teleport. She can also create concussive blasts and knock enemies away. Think like Junkrat's concussive minds, but you know, like 40,000 kajillion times stronger. She can also resurrect herself, oh my god, and is protected by gods, what, okay. Uh, let, let's look at other powers. She can also manipulate time, weather, and even freaking reality. Oh, dear God. She can manipulate and create entire freaking timelines and manipulate space-time. There's no reason she's, you know, on it, honestly, no reason she's the most fucking OP character in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like, hot damn, this is ridiculous. Alright, now on to Phoenix and what she's actually done to prove her amazing powers. Phoenix has gone up against and beaten the Fire Lord, who's far stronger than Thor. Keep in mind, Thor can keep up with Silver Surfer, uh, and even dent his head with a headbutt. Keep in mind, Silver Surfer can survive the explosion of a solar system on him, and she's actually even stronger than that. She can create supernovas on her own, and at her peak, she repaired the universe, and even better is when she held the universe in her hands and rewrote it. She's also beaten down Galactus on more than one occasion, you know, the Galactus Devourer of Worlds, and she's even overpowered Professor X, the world's strongest psychic in all of, you know, Marvel. Now, obviously, she's far above her fellow X-Men when it comes to reaction speed, especially Beast and Wolverine, who have the ability to react in nanoseconds. But she's even faster than that. She's fast enough to match Thor. Keep in mind, Thor can travel uh, about 60,000 times the speed of light, if not more. And she can even move faster than uh, the Fire Lord, who should be faster than Thor. Plus, she can fly through hyperspace on her own, giving her ridiculous speeds. She can also survive attacks from the Fire Lord, who, as I mentioned earlier, is above Thor in power. She's also taken on people like Thor, Hulk, and even Wolverine before. And she's actually beaten down Galactus and taken hits from him. Yeah. And if she is ever to die at any point, she can just resurrect herself, making her incredibly durable. Now, Phoenix is also incredibly skilled, too. She's, like, an amazing psychic and hero, and is recognized as one of the best X-Men in the world. She's easily able to mop the floor with the other X-Men in a fight, and is just considered a major threat if she's ever to go rogue. Alright, it's time to talk about everyone's favorite siren on Pandora. What? You like Maya more? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Ugh, no, I'm of course talking about Lilith, better known for being the Firehawk and Cult Leader. So Lilith comes fully stocked with some badass weapons, mostly being an array of guns like shotguns, pistols, bazookas, SMGs, assault rifles, and even sniper rifles. She also carries grenades, and she has a shield that protects herself from damage until it's broken. Once it's broken, it can recharge slowly over time as long as she's not taking damage. Now each one of these comes with an elemental effect on it, being either explosive, fire, electric, or corrosive. Obviously explosive explodes, fire burns flesh, electric destroys shields, and corrosive melts like armor. I mean, these, honestly, it does more damage no matter what, but those are the things they're super fucking effective against. Then there's her Vault Hunter skill. Her Siren Power allows her to turn completely invisible and move super quickly. Her melee damage uh, becomes ridiculously powerful, and she can actually heal wounds while uh, phasing. Plus, her melee attacks have a chance to stun foes. And her melee attacks can uh, be enhanced with an element like fire, corrosive, shock, or explosive. She even has a resistance to elemental attacks, and she can even teleport while in this mode. But now we need to talk about one of Lilith's best tools in her arsenal, Iridium. 
It's a special, like, I guess it's a mineral, or is it metal? But anyway, it serves multiple purposes within the Borderlands world, such as powering E-Tech guns or being black market currency. But more importantly, what does this freemium currency have to do with our girl Lil Lilith? Well, it serves a special purpose, especially for sirens like Lilith. You see, when sirens pump themselves full of this iridium stuff, it enhances their siren powers to an ungodly amount. As Lilith likes to say, iridium is the tits. Now speaking of, let's see what Lilith's actually done. Lilith can physically manhandle bandits, psychos, robots, and huge-ass monsters. Not to mention, with her siren powers, she can take out full-powered goliaths, and she uses some of her uh, she uses some of her uranium and, and with her siren powers, she can get amped up, allowing her to completely liquefy or burst open badass enemies. And she also, along with her team, defeated the Destroyer, whose eye alone could have destroyed the moon. She also charged the Vault Key uh, with her siren powers. Keep in mind, the Vault Key was kept, uh, meant to keep the Warrior, a planet-busting foe, locked away. She's also, you know, teleporting an entire fucking city, which is a uh, downright impressive feat altogether. When it comes to speed, Lilith has managed to dodge bullets, energy blasts, lasers, electricity, and so much more. She can also easily keep pace and blitz uh, all the other Vault Hunters, which should mean she should be above them, as she's clearly the fastest. Lilith can easily take hits from Psychos, tank grenade blasts, survive gunshots, and hits from large monsters, and even survive a few hits from the Destroyer, but she can't take very many from foes around that level. Now, Lilith is also a fucking genius as she's the, one of the first sirens to discover the use of Iridium, and she has fought and beaten many foes. She was the leader of a cult and eventually the Crimson Raiders, and she was able to win a, a game of Bunkers and Badasses against Tiny Tina. But Lilith isn't perfect. Using too much Iridium at once does put heavy strain on her body and can actually knock her unconscious. She's also accustomed to using her siren powers and guns, making her more vulnerable in a fist fight unless she's using her powers. Alright, our combatants are set. Which fiery bird-based psychic will come out on top in a fight to the death? Lilith is walking through Professor X's school with Brick by her side as they hunt for the next vault key. Beast and Phoenix then walk in front of them going a separate way as they stop and look at him. Brick laughs as he punches his fist together and pops his neck as he rushes towards Beast and tackles him through a wall. Phoenix fl then flies after him, but when she goes to fly at him, she gets shot in the shoulder by a sniper round that explodes into an electric shock on contact. Phoenix looks over to see Lilith holding a sniper rifle as she flies forward at full speed and tackles her into a room where Lilith rolls back and her tattoos start to glow and, fiery li and a red fire-like wing appears on both sides of her back. Phoenix then generates a fireball in her hand and goes to throw it but is unable to find Lilith when she's done generating it. She looks around and only to be met with a roundhouse kick from Lilith. As, Lilith. as Lilith's boot hits Phoenix in the head, Lilith smiles and vanishes again. Phoenix looks around frustrated as she feels a powerful strike to her back as Lilith vanishes once again and appears in front of her and goes for a powerful punch to Phoenix's head. Phoenix then catches her fist and smiles as she throws a fireball into Lilith's stomach, launching her through the building and outside. Lilith stands back up, slightly burned, as she pulls out a bazooka and shoots it into the school at Phoenix. As the rocket hits Phoenix, shortly after, the school crumbles in a fiery explosion of a corrosive gas and flames. Lilith then sighs in relief as she throws down the bazooka and then walks over to Brick to start reviving him, but Phoenix rises from the rumble with flames emitting from her. She yells out in anger, causing a huge blast of flames to launch out, incinerating Brick to, uh, Brick to nothing but ash. Lilith then looks at Phoenix pissed off as she grabs a large chunk of iridium and crushes it in her hand, causing her wings and tattoos to glow even brighter. She rushes over and sucker punches Phoenix and takes a moment, uh, and takes that moment that Phoenix is stunned to follow up with an uppercut. She follows up by pointing her shotgun at Phoenix's head and blowing it clean off. Lilith then falls to the ground exhausted as she starts to reload her shotgun, but she hears an evil laugh behind her. Lilith, in a panic, reaches for some more iridium, but as she grabs it, Phoenix rushes over and grabs her by the neck and incinerates her with a burst of flames, n leaving nothing but a charred skeleton. Phoenix then flies away, uh, looking for the other vault hunters to kill. Alright, first off, I need to go ahead and say thank you to Coronel Keith for helping out with the Phoenix research. Speaking of, our winner is Phoenix, and really for good reason too. Lilith should have multi-continental uh, continental guns, as that's what she used to uh, with her team to destroy the uh, moon-busting destroyer. And with her Cyan powers, she could actually be in the ranges of multi-continental planet, as she did charge the Vault Key that was locking away a planet buster. Not to mention, she did use her Siren powers to fight the destroyer, who, as I mentioned earlier, could destroy the moon. At least his eye alone could. So if we want to be nice, this will put her about multi-continental to planet level strength and durability. Well, Phoenix has her beaten. She's beaten down Galactus twice. 
Do I even need to explain how much better that is? That's multiversal. And if we even lowball Phoenix and just compare her to Thor, that's still multi-solar system, easily trumping Lilith's planet level at her best. So what about speed? Like it actually matters at this point, but Lilith is at best massively hypersonic via dodging lightning-based weapons, and we know she's faster than the other Vault Hunters who can do the same. So let's be nice and put her at... I don't know, sub-relativistic, that's a very generous highball. But Phoenix can at least scale to Thor, who's massively faster than Light. That's at least. She can scale to much, much, much faster opponents. But even at her lowest scale, or even just her feats alone, like flying through hyperspace, she absolutely demolishes Lilith in all categories. Yeah, there's no amount of Uridium in the multiverse that would allow her to keep up with this. Not to mention, like, the stat difference here is just ridiculous. This was a stomp of a match, and I actually feel bad for doing it. Looks like Lilith borderlanded herself into some deep shit. Our winner is Phoenix. Next time on Combo Raker. Oh, no. Crap singing. Mind if I smoke? Cigars are evil, you won't miss them. We'll find ways to simulate that smell. What a sorry fella. Rolled up and spoke like a Panatella. Here on level one of robot hell. Yep, we've got a battle of the dirty dealers. The robot devil versus Bill Cipher. First of all, let me thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this to any friends you know who like versus debates. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think of the next match. Give me your predictions, maybe suggest matches in the comments, and they might happen.